This is part 72 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to check if cookies are enabled. Most websites rely on browser cookies being enabled. For example, if you have disabled cookies and if you try to log into gmail.com, you will receive an error message saying your browser seems to have cookies disabled. Make sure cookies are enabled and try opening a new browser window. Let's look at this in action. Let's fire up Google Chrome. Let's disable cookies. To disable cookies, click on this button on the top right hand corner of the browser window and then select settings from the context menu. On the settings page, scroll all the way to the bottom and you will find a link button which says show advanced settings. Click on that and then click on content settings button under privacy. On the content settings page, select this radio button block sites from setting any data and then click done to save changes. So we have disabled cookies. Now let's navigate to gmail.com. Let's enter a username and a password and then click sign in. Look at that. Since we have cookies disabled, we get an error message saying your browser seems to have cookies disabled. Make sure cookies are enabled or try opening in a new browser vendor. Now let's see how to write some JavaScript code so we can detect if the cookies are enabled or disabled. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's include a development and give it an ID. And within the script section, let's include a JavaScript function. Let's name this cookies enabled. And inside this function, let's include a variable. Let's name this R cookies enabled. Navigator object has got a property called cookie enabled. This is a Boolean property and most modern browsers support this property. This property returns true if cookies are enabled, otherwise false. However, there are certain old versions of the browsers which don't support this property. To cater for those browsers, we're actually going to write a test cookie and then read that test cookie once again. If we can successfully read that test cookie, then we know that cookies are enabled, otherwise they are disabled. So let's include a ternary operator here. So basically, for those versions of the browser which don't support cookie enabled property, this expression you know, will be evaluated to undefined and as a result, false will be stored in this variable are cookies enabled. Okay? So for those browsers which don't support cookie enabled property, let's go ahead and write a test cookie and then read it once again. So if navigator.cookie enabled if type of navigator.cookie enable is equal to undefined. So basically the browsers that don't support this property, they're going to return undefined. So if it's undefined and if the value within this variable is false, then let's write a test cookie. So document.cookie equals my test cookie. And then let's read that cookie again. So document.cookie dot let's use index of function. And let's find the index of the string my test cookie. Now if we are able to successfully read my test cookie, then the index of that one uh, you know, should not be equal to minus one. So if the index of my test cookie not equal to minus one, so let's actually set the value of this variable r cookies enabled equal to if index of my test cookie is not equal to minus one, then we have successfully read the cookie. That means cookies are enabled. So let's store this value true in this variable. Else, false. If it is minus one, then we were not able to read that test cookie. That means we are not able to set that cookie, which means cookies are disabled. And then finally, we'll return this variable. Are cookies enabled? 
Okay? And now let's go ahead and use that function. If cookies enable, if that function returns true, then within this div element, let's display a message saying cookies are enabled. So document dot get element by ID. The ID of the div element is msg dot in a HTML equals cookies are enabled. else cookies are disabled. And at the moment within Google Chrome we have cookies disabled. So let's actually navigate to this page. Look at that. It says cookies are disabled. Now let's check this within Internet Explorer, but before we do that, let's actually enable cookies and then reload this page and see what result we get back. So let's go to settings, show advanced settings, content settings, and then allow local data to be set. Click done, and let's reload this page. Now we should get a message saying cookies are enabled. Look at that, cookies are enabled. Now let's check the same page in Internet Explorer. So let's fire up IE. Let's navigate to the same page. Look at that. Cookies are enabled. And in IE, to disable cookies, click on this um, you know, settings button on the top right-hand corner of the browser's window. And then select Internet Options. Click Privacy. And then let's actually slide this all the way to the top. And look at that. It says Block All Cookies. Let's apply. Click OK. Now let's reload this page. Look at that. Now the browser says cookies are disabled. And here is the function that we have just written. Thank you for listening and have a great day.